This is Project Dark Knight. What? Pyro, cause I'm locked down, no ammo, but I've touched down. Random notes a 4.5 online to the ghouls and fiends. When he be no phenomena, wait till we call and see. Box the spirits till it's critics, see how they all can bleed. No Batman, but I'm Dark Knight, no Afghan with the sunlight. Creep at night with no shadow, cause the tango cause no half time. No, no, my guy ain't for the hype and lie, don't cry to the mic, I'm sly. Right, let's regroup, back with the trigger. Dead with the dread on my head with a shiver. Bricks being flown, save me bigger. Capture the ghost, pay with figures. Need the invoice, give me white noise, spooks and horror. Yo, fate, I need that grade. Come now, he likes my pay. Dust still dawn on my cross and horn. Sound of skulls, got eyes on war. Breathing bones, hand toes to the pop pop. DB zone XO with the ghost smoke. Reeling foes head to toe, I'm Zozo. Need my phone with a class A smoke hole. Calling all random notes. Calling all random notes. Calling all random notes. Uh, let's go. Lost and found. So today, guys, we're using a app called Randonautica for the first time. It's an app that allows you to uh, explore your area a little bit, um, and it's supposed to align with your thoughts. So you press the the button, and whatever you're thinking, whether you're thinking something like happy, sad criminal or something like that and it's supposed to take you to a spot where you're supposed to find something that aligns with the, your thoughts some people have found dead bodies some people have found money so so yeah this is kind of what random article looks like um and then you generate this is the youtube channel paranormies who are fairly new with only about 20 videos but they're all very well made with no over-the-top dramatics now Paranormies are a ghost and paranormal hunting channel who explore haunted locations that claim to have paranormal activity. So far, they've caught a lot of paranormal activity that will put other more famous ghost hunting channels to shame. Today, however, we're focusing on a video they made about Randonautica, and what you're about to see was their first rendezvous with Randonautica. Watch. And I have heard people recommend to not do this at night, like we are, but... Yeah. Nighttime mm -hmm. Randonautica is probably a better video than daytime Randonautica. No, yeah. no, money. Money? Yeah. Okay. okay. Their first four destinations were a dud, sending them to back streets near houses or to the back of shops. So we joined the boys on their fifth try. With their intent in mind, they set off. Little did the friends know that Randonautica was already two moves ahead of them in a game of Randonautica chess. And now, every move the friends took was orchestrated by Randonautica pulling their strings. Now pay attention, because Randonautica is about to deliver. Watch. Look at this. Look. Oh, open here. Someone quit their job. Huh? Everything in the dumpster. What oh, dude, there's a phone here. No way. Holy shit, we found a phone. <laughs> I can't. I don't want to drop it. <laughs> Anything else? Why would you just throw your phone and your wallet away with your jeans? I want to take this off. Dude, these are frozen. Well, it looks like a, like a Swiffer. <laughs> so what we're doing on Paranormies is dumpster diving now. Okay, get up. <laughs> Hopefully the only time you'll ever dumpster dive in your whole life. <laughs> Oh, like those game cards yeah. or whatever? Yeah. I don't understand it. Oh, yeah. Unless if it got water got in there, then it's fucked. Oops, sorry. Screwed. 
<laughs> okay. All right. So we found these, the phone and the wallet. We'll probably end up honestly just trying to figure out who the phone belongs to, if anything. Yeah, for sure. Um, and whatever. The wallet, there's nothing in it anyway, so whatever. But that's day two, two days of rad and nodding. So three weeks ago, we did a Radonautica investigation where we, we found a phone along with some other stuff, like clothes, in a dumpster. And the phone was not working at that time. We couldn't get it to work, but we brought it to cell repair. They were able to get it working for us. We retrieved some information off that phone, and we were actually able to find the owner of that phone. It belongs to a girl, or it belonged to a girl named Kelsey, who lives in Brandon, three hours away from where we are and we were actually able to talk to her on the phone and she told us a very interesting story about a house that her friend lives in that's supposedly very haunted. How are you doing? Good, good. Um, so yeah, we found your phone. <laughs> <laughs> you, you found you know, my phone? Yeah, we you found, found my phone? Yeah, we found your phone in a dumpster. In Stein, we're in Steinbach though, we're, we're in Steinbach. Like, have you ever been to Steinbach? You're, wait, you, you found my phone in Steinbach? Yeah. yeah. I have been there, but not since I was like a little kid. Yeah, it was broken, so we got it fixed. No, I mean, I lost my phone when I was in Brandon like three months ago. Right, yes, that's three hours away from here. Yeah, and that's insane. We found it with like what? with a bunch of like, you know, construction clothes and like a pair of jeans and stuff yeah. like that, so. And a wallet. What? Yeah. You yeah. think it got like, like stolen or did you just like misplace it? Like. I, I mean, I don't know. I just like had it one second and then I didn't have it. So I just assumed I, you know, set it down and forgot. I don't know. I mean, I have no idea. That's yeah. hilarious. Yeah, so we kind of wanted to just reach out and see if we could get it back to you. Yeah, that, I mean, I, that'd be great. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, we found it because like we're doing this uh, this YouTube channel. We're called uh, Paranormies. And we there's this app called uh, Round and Autica. And it just, you, you think of a certain thing and then it kind of pinpoints a specific spot on the GPS of where you're supposed to go and look for whatever you were thinking. And it actually like brought us right to your phone. So that's a super like paranormal experience yeah. in itself. So what? we thought that was Shut really up. cool. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we're called we're called Paranormies to like a YouTube channel. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I actually I have a friend who uh her her house is like I think it's haunted. She thinks it's haunted. She's convinced me. I think it's haunted. Really? Um, yeah. Like, is it is it a place like in Brandon? Yeah. Wow. Like how like like how is it haunted? Like any? Do you have any stories? Oh yeah. Um, man. So basically, I don't even like to go there. But she is so that she, it's it's haunted by like two ghosts. They think so. Oh, it's two um, ghosts. Yeah. Wow. Do you think there's any way that we could maybe like investigate this place? Like, do you think you could ask your friend about that? Uh, yeah. I mean, I'll absolutely ask her. I feel like she would probably be really interested in it. Um... This is where things get really bizarre. So Randa Nautica is about to lead our boys to a haunted house. And this house has so much activity. Their Randa Nautica experience is about to get amped up and they don't even know it. The phone belonged to a woman called Kelsey who lost it over three months ago in a place, check this, that she used to live. So the paranormies decide to make contact to return the phone. And after conversations, they get access into a home that's haunted by two ghosts. We've been here for about an hour now, just setting up cameras and stuff. We have one camera upstairs, one downstairs, and one in the kitchen. We've already been hearing all kinds of creaking, tapping on the walls and stuff like that. Uh, Kelsey's friend just left a few minutes ago and we just did a little bit of research on this house. It was built in 1969. It was rebuilt in 1994 because of a fire that took out most of the house. Uh, Kelsey's friend doesn't know if anybody actually died in that fire, but she believes that there are two spirits that live here with her that possibly died in that fire. One of them is named Sophie, also known as Silent Sophie. She's been known to uh, knock things over, hide keys, lock doors and stuff like that. Whereas Hannah, she is more of a kind spirit, like she'll come up and touch you or she'll like rub your arm and stuff like that. Um, we're just here to find out if we can make contact with at least one of them and find out if they did 
die in that fire and who they actually are. Whoa. It's going to be a long night, man. <laughs> it is colder in this room. Very cold. Than the rest of the house, that's for damn sure. You hear that? She got upstairs. Yeah, let's go check. Did you hear that? That was what's nice about stairs. us. Oh my god, dude. What the fuck was that? What is that? Okay, what the fuck, dude? Okay. Sophie? That's gotta be Sophie. What was that? I, that was me, I thought it was Dude, I'm so fucking over this shit, dude. Oh my god, dude. What? Oh my god, dude. That fucking scared the shit out of me, dude. The rain is on this side of the fucking room. That's that's what was fucking throwing. Okay, I'm turning the light on. Oh, dude. Holy fuck, man. What was the fuck? Oh my god, that's what was thrown. Dude, oh. Damn. That's fucking done, dude. I'm done, dude. You're, you're done. I swear I heard this door close though, too. Or what? Yeah. Fuck, dude, did you hear that? Again downstairs, man. If that was... Johnny! What? There's fucking glass all over the floor. Like what? Like, 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 like glass, you look. Okay, well, turn the light on. Oh, yeah, there's glass all over here, dude. Dude. Yeah. Close the door. Holy shit! Dude, the fucking what? shower curtain just moved. Look. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Is it? Oh, fuck. It just stopped. There. Oh. Silence, Sophie. Silence, Sophie. Burned to death, and now she's lonely. Silence, Sophie. Silence, Sophie. Say her name and listen closely. To check out their full video and other paranormal investigations like I mentioned, go check out their channel, Paranormies. Blood on my hands. Our next run in Autica video comes from 4th Dimension TV and I've never showcased their channel before so I thought this video would be a good introduction to the channel. So Ryan and Skelly are in Philadelphia late this night and what he finds in this video gives me more questions than answers. Now what they find towards the end, if it's real, is messed up. 
and obviously a crime has been committed. I'll leave it to you to decide if it's real or fake. And I got the location opened up too. I got it open so pretty wide. All right, so we're doing, <clears throat> we're doing a uh, creepy. Let's think creepy. Really creepy. And hopefully this time we get something. So Ryan and Skelly have something creepy as their intention and Randa Nautica leads them to this dark forested area. And this is where they make their first find. Now they don't really find anything that bad, but what they find at the end of the video, now that's creepy. I mean, we don't have to wander too far. I just want to see if there's anything down here. Yeah. Wires everywhere. This is creepy as it is hell, creepy. Man. What the fuck? This is like some old. F oh, dude. No, man. What is this? What is this, dude? Oh my god. That's Hold a on. container, man. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we leave the gloves in the car? Fuck! We did. No, I got a pair right here. Oh, you do? Alright. Oh, oh, fuck. Fuck a trash bag. Oh, shit. Is that fucking human remote? I don't know. Can you hold this? Yeah. Do here. you mind if I use this? Yeah, go Thank ahead. you. <laughs> well, it's not. It's not heavy. Heavy. Is that soap? It smells like piss. Can you shine the light in there. It says somebody's phone. Somebody left the phone for us. It's broken. Is the other part there? You know what? What if somebody is closed, man? What if somebody got murdered, man? Well, and that's their phone. Shorts. And that's their clothes, man. Just keep an, uh, keep an ear out around. Yeah, yeah. I we're in a bad you. area right now. Guys, we're in Philly right now. Um, oh, my God. Literally man. down in a ditch. That's somebody's fucking... Somebody got killed or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, you found the other part of the phone. I don't know. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, there's the back of the phone. Oh, my God. But it's not like it's broken, though. You see? Oh. But there's Dude, no... Dude, man. There's no, some, somebody was murdered. There's no... In <clears throat> and their stuff was put there. Look at it. It has fucking bullet, bullet wounds. That's what it looks Bullet like. holes all but throughout no that container. There's no blood or anything, though. Yeah, well, it was somebody's phone. Somebody's clothes. Keep that I'm light on. Get a shot of... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, a family. fuck? That was a family, man. Oh, my God. The guy was... Are a, you getting all this? Yeah, that guy was a family, man. That guy was a family, man. Phone got taken away from him. I, I would save all that shit as oh, evidence. I am. I am saving it. Man, that's, that's somebody. That's a, fam, a guy with a family. Dude, this is creepy, bro. Oh, his, some this of took his, us right here. Creepy. I thought creepy. This some took of his, his uh, possessions. This took us right here. The clothes are irrelevant, but I am gonna just never know. I'm gonna take this stuff. That's evidence, dude. That's no, you that never know, man. Freak, here, point the camera on me and make sure you can see me. I can't see it. Oh, there we go. Well, bring okay. the light up a little bit if you have to. There you go. That freaked me out, guys. I saw that and I saw a black trash bag coming out of it and I was freaked out. This is weird. This is weird shit, guys. I'll show you better than when we're done, but there is, there's pictures of a guy. There's clothes. I'm not taking the clothes then, but get another shot of the clothes real quick. There's clothes. Socks, all that stuff. Guys' belongings. And it's just back here, why? Why is it back here? What is this? There's a fucking air condition. What the fuck is that? Dude, there's an ATM machine back here. Yeah, the rise, blew up, man. Dude! Holy shit! Guys, check this out real quick. And then we'll go. They were trying to dissemble it right here, dude, and they did. Is there still money in there? I don't know, but I found the quarter, so it's usually a sign of good luck. Oh my god, guys, look. 
Dude, this is a vending. This is a. This is an ATM machine, guys. Look, we found a fucking ATM machine. Holy shit! Yeah, well, they were robbing them, right? During the. During the riots, right? Yeah. Holy shit! Oh my god! Well, obviously, there's no money left in it. Well, that's why I was looking, but. They probably got mad 20s out of that, John, dude. Here, let's back up. Now, what they find next, if it is real, might upset some people. I'm not going to sit here and say it's fake because I wasn't there. And in this day and age, you can never tell. So let me know what you think when we chat in the comments. But that's weird, though. I heard something back here, man. I know I did. Oh, dude. Fuck, man. Look on the table, dude. It's a black... Oh, God. Look at... Search the area first, man. Yeah, we weren't over this way, were we? No, we just started here, dude. Dude, there's a bag right here, dude. Yo. Yo. There's a bag right here. Oh. You didn't see that before? That's why I was coming over here. Alright. Why is there a bag here? It's new, too. Just keep an eye out, man. I'm going to open this up. Just keep an eye out. Alright. I don't see anybody around. I don't either, but it doesn't mean there isn't anybody. Look at this. Where did this come from? Oh, uh, okay. Here, so just, hold, something just hold the camera for me. I have rubbers with this time, guys. I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie, I'm nervous, dude. Hey, I have to find another uh, box. No, it's not even that. There wasn't anything bad in that. That's what I'm talking about. Even seeing what I've been finding the last. Oh, few yeah, months. yeah. <sighs> It's usually never anything pretty. You got this in view? Yeah. Here, just bring the light up. No, no, just on the on the bed. Yeah. So I can see. It. And make sure make sure they can see. Alright, got him. Alright. As good as it can. Plastic bag. Oh god, there's something in here, dude. What? Fuck. Hang on, let me just keep me in for Jesus fucking Christ, man. More clothing. I don't know what's in here. It's a pair of shorts. A pair of pants. A pair of pants. Holy shit. Oh, you see that? Ah, oh, dude, fuck, man. The hell? Whoa, man. Whoa. Jesus fucking Christ. Give me this. Sorry, oh sorry. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, man. This is like clockwork, man. This is every fucking time we play. Is that a... What? I don't, that's a mask. Wow. Here, let me see that. That's, that's dry blood. Yeah, that's dry blood. Jesus fuck, man. Just keep your eye out around us. <sighs> yeah, that's some dry blood. That's splatters. Some wet blood. That's splatters, dude. It's dry, but that's splatters. Look at it. Well, I haven't heard anything back yet, but they have it. And they're, they're investigating where it could have came from or what it is. What is this, man? I it doesn't feel light like anything like like what the Oh god, oh, what, what is the that? fuck? Oh. Oh, dude, is that a fucking finger in there? Is that a fucking oh, finger in there, dude? God. You see this? 
Do you see this? Are you getting it? Yeah, I'm getting All right. it. Good. Dude, that's wet blood in there, man. Oh, that's not a finger. That's sick. It's not a finger. They rip, it looks like oh. a chain they ripped off Thank God it's not a fucking bloody finger. bloody neck. What the fuck is this, man? I don't want to rip it because I, I want to keep the bag intact, guys, because this is going to have to go to the police, like I said. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh, that's wet. Are you seeing this, that's dude? That's fucking disgusting, man. Oh, God, dude. Ooh. Oh. Perfect. You see this? Shine the light on it, dude. That's good. I mean, so, I mean, make sure they can see it in the camera. But what the fuck is this, dude? That's a piece of jewelry, dude. Hey, it's a woman? woman That's a woman's jewelry, yeah. There's blood all over it. And there's a key. Ooh. What the fuck? It smells, man. Yeah, it does stink. It stinks metallic, like 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 metallic, like blood, man. And then it. That's this is a is roll it? of pennies. It's a roll of pennies covered in blood. Covered in blood. Yeah, it stinks. That's, that's, this is going to a whole new level, man. <sighs> yeah. To check out their video, the link will be in the description below. Their name, Fourth Dimension TV. Is that real? For our next randonauts, you guys are split down the middle. They have a lot of followers and their channel is very infamous for the paranormal and lately, Randonautica. Whether you love them or hate them, everyone's talking about them. It's Jody Dean and Alicia from the YouTube channel Hunting the Dead and tonight they're on another Randonautica hunt. Amazingly, Randonautica leads them to their first find of the night which helps them to carry on grafting. It's like right where those stairs are. I'm gonna turn around up here and uh, do you mind to get out and look for me? Uh, sure. I mean, I'll be right there. I just don't wanna park the car. So Alicia's gonna get out and look real quick on this one. Ugh. The pinpoint's at the top of the stairs. Okay. Let's see what we can find. Ooh, there's a cockroach. What's that? I heard growling. I don't see anything. Let me turn my light on. I don't see anything. Nothing. Yeah, I don't see nothing. Piece of paper. Wait, that's not a piece of paper. What is that? Oh, I found money. You found money? Aw. Yeah, here. Ooh. Is that money? Is yes, it? it is. You can tell. Oh, oh shit, it's five bucks. Uh, is there any more? No. Did you look? Yeah, I did, but I didn't see anything else. I wanted to hurry up and get in. My boobs are falling out of my dress. I don't want nobody to see me. It, it's real. It almost didn't feel real, though. No, it's real. It's five bucks. Hey, Yay. that's five bucks in the gas tank. We can we can rando knot all night. <laughs> that's one thing I do love about rando nautica compared to like the ghost hunting stuff is you put money in your gas tank and you can just go have a ball so if you found something and i haven't found nothing now i'm upset i'm jealous go find something i wonder if there's like more money along here now if anybody else follows us 
on this rando knot or if anybody else is rando knotting and ends up over here you might want to take another look around there might very well be some more money back there all right so our new intention is bloody which i don't feel comfortable about this it's bringing us behind this church that church is spooky that is super spooky now remember their intention was bloody and so far alicia is up one to jody but things are about to change now again i just have to say if this is real the following scenes might upset some people especially if you're a new subscriber Random Nautica is very popular at the moment and sometimes when I was searching, the players find some really messed up things. Like this. Watch. There. There's like a pathway through there. Yeah. Dude, hey, I just seen something. What do you mean? I mean, I just seen something in those woods back there. Back up there. Dude, I just seen something right there. Where the hell did it go? <gasps> back over there. See Here. Hold, hold this. I got it. Hurry. Right. I see something. I could have swore I seen something over here. What? What? There's what? a bag. Dude, that's what I seen. What the hell is that? Dude, what the fuck is that? Babe. Dude, it looks like there's blood in that bag. Oh, <gasps> no. No, 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 no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Hey. I did I think there's a freaking body in that bag. Dude, I think there's a freaking body in that bag. Oh my god, it looks like a little... Oh my god. I don't know, should I call the police, babe? Should I call the police or get it? Dude, it's not, oh my God, you've got to be kidding me. Dude, it's a freaking doll covered in blood. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Who would do something like that? What is it? Dude, it's a doll covered in blood. <gasps> no. Like, it looks like a real little child. It even. I was just about to call the cops, Jim. <sighs> Bro, I was about to cry. I was that still. That's horrible. Why would somebody put that thing? I have no idea. Dude, you sure that's not real? It's not real. It's it's not real. It's like rubber or something. <sighs> that is sick. I was just about to call the sheriff. Dude, feel that. I don't want to. It it's fake. It's fake. You have a spider on it. There's Ooh. a spider? Yes, it's crawling ooh. on it. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hold that. Well, I did warn you. Turns out, someone, somewhere, has a sick sense of humor. Now, I'd like to know what you guys make of this. There are some sick people out there in the world. Or, this could just be a prop from a movie. Or, this could just be a prank from Jody. I'll be waiting for all your lovely interesting comments below. To watch the full clip and more of Jody and Alicia's adventures, check out Hunting the Dead. The link will be below. The Curio Show You're about to meet 
the nicest random note on the face of this planet. This is Johnny from the fairly new YouTube channel called The Curio Show, which is short for Curious. The husband and wife team only have about 12 videos, but there's something different about these two, as you'll soon find out. Now, Johnny and Tanya are not your usual YouTubers, and their calm demeanor and funny sense of humor, along with the fact that they never actually swear, makes them a really refreshing change. So the Texas pair love randonauting, and today they're out together as a husband and wife team playing Randonautica. What they lack in tech and video know-how, they more than make up for in entertainment. This is what I love about making Randonautica videos, finding the diamonds in the rough. So Johnny picks an intent from a viewer which is mysterious. His wife Tanya generates the point. It's in the middle of the parking lot of Luby's. Oh, Luby's. It's at Luby's cafeteria. Now, what I gradually started to like about these two sweet people is that they didn't hide anything. And even though it's broad daylight, they don't worry about anyone watching them as they went around searching the area. And the camera follows their every move. Now, Tanya finds something very interesting, and this feeds into some of the conspiracies surrounding Randa Nautica. There's a lot of trash. Check it out. I don't know, it's got an X on it, but maybe it's nothing. What is it? I think those are coordinates. In the palm tree by the sign, yeah, your mascot awaits. Yeah, guys, I think these are coordinates. This is pretty interesting. It doesn't make sense. But maybe it looks we need, like coordinates maybe we need, we need the to, random let's type it into maps. Guys, I don't know. It looks like it's giving Maybe us a it is. looks like it's giving us a clue. Maybe not. I don't know. And it says in the palm tree by the sign. So I don't know. Let's see where these coordinates are. It might not even be in this area. And then it says your mascot awaits. I don't know what that means. Check our it out. Our mascot, our school mascot's a panther. 
Some people out there believe that Random Nautica leaves items and clues and other people think it's all BS. I'm not sure at the minute, but what I am sure about is what they find and what happens next is very intriguing. Watch. to this location and it's 1.1 mile away and, it and it's at, an STC, at a local college and it says in the palm tree by the sign on Jeep on maps we can see that the pinpoint is right by a uh, by the South Texas College sign so we're gonna head over there and this is sending us on a scavenger hunt so this is starting off to be pretty mysterious we've never found anything like this before we've never been sent anywhere before you know so and I, I guess this would mean like X marks the spot, maybe. I'm not maybe, sure. I don't know. But this has it's been here different. a while. It looks like it's been here a while. So let's see what your mascot awaits means. Yeah. So let's head over there, guys, and see what you know. Let's see what's going on. So they fire up the coordinates into Google, and they get a location, which is just over a mile away near college. I don't know what we're looking for, but we're yeah. just going to scan the area and see what we can find. Uh, we're going to look at these palm trees here. It says next, in the palm trees. In the, up in the palm tree, next, next to the sign. To the sign. So I'm assuming up here somewhere. Let me put it the other side to get it. I'll go the other side. It's got an X. This is it, guys. An owl. owl. The owl. The owl from the app. Oh, it's the mascot for Randonautica. That's what it is. Huh. We found an we owl. It sent us. For yeah. <laughs> I mean, the whole thing has been mysterious, so I, I guess it'd be a hit. But this is pretty cool. Yeah, Check it out. Cool. Yeah, your mascot awaits. And that's the mascot for Randonautica. And it has an X on the back, just like the card did that we found. That's Where pretty cool, man. It? Right here. Yeah, this has to oh, be it. That's it. That has to be it. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Somebody, I don't know. I, somebody had to have left it if they played Randall Nautica before. Maybe they left the card at the other location. I don't know. I don't know but how like these I said, things get there. Yeah, like I said before. I'm not, I'm not convinced that Randonautica is real yet, but I'm pretty sure these are not coincidences either. So we're somewhere in the middle, but I don't know. What do y'all think? You know, could somebody have left this who played before? Who knows? But I think we better leave it. Okay. I don't know where you found it. Right here. Okay. That was cool, guys. Mysterious. Mysterious. It yeah, was. We'll it was there. a mysterious 
the whole adventure was mysterious. What I liked about that was that he never took any of the items. He left it for another player, which makes me believe him. They fire up another location and their second intent is treasure. And what they find is amazing. At first, watch. Beautiful, love, treasure, and someone special. So we're going to choose treasure. So that's Peggy Mitchell's suggestion, treasure. So that's going to be our intention for our next um, location. So. Okay. How far? It is 2.2 miles and it's 10 minutes away. And it looks like it's taking us to a park. Another park. Another park. <laughs> Not the same park, oh another gosh. park. We're going to Harlem Block. Harlem Block Park. Oh, cool. Yeah, I know where that's at. Street. Yeah, that's, that's about two miles. Pinpoints over there, but I just wanted to check out over there. Check everything around here so we don't come back around here. There's nothing under that green thing. We can't get in there. No. What about under the bridge, Danny? Just a little bridge. Yeah. You want to check? Put it away. Just put it away. There's a lot of people around here, Jimmy. Oh my gosh. It's good to the truck. <laughs> Guys, there's a lot of people around. We better go to the truck. I just found something unbelievable. Let's check it out. We'll talk about it in the truck. Yeah. So everything about his body language and the way he looked when he found it and what he says in the car makes me believe that this find is actually genuine. There's a big stack of $100 bills in this uh, gray bag, plastic bag, but there's too many people around. I don't know who would leave this stuff there. 
I don't know. I'm I can't Check I'm shaking. Out. I'm shaking a lot. I don't know what to do. Hold on. It's weird because that couple turned on the tree. That couple didn't move. They were just standing there. It's freaky and they just stayed looking at it. Yeah, maybe it's illegal, illegal money. Maybe somebody's doing a like a deal or something. Like a like something. Maybe somebody left the money so that somebody else could leave something for them. What? In that case, there might somebody be watching. But I'm shaking, guys. I, I can't breathe good. Turn on the air. Let's check it out. Help yourself out. Oh, wait a minute. Wow, this must be a choke, man. Why? It's fake, no? Play money? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Guys, I thought it was real money. Check it out. It looks very real. But it's play money. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Let me see. One, two, three. I'm going to count it real quick. Oh, it's man. Easy. I was shaking. Well, we found Check it out, guys. That's our fake treasure. Somebody guys. playing a joke on us, or somebody was gonna get scammed. One or the other. One or the other. They look so real. If that was left there for something illegal, somebody would have gotten screwed over. Yeah, definitely. Damn, I thought I was gonna be able to buy so many things <laughs> you were already shopping on yeah, amazon <laughs> yeah i was already getting a nice camera and all kinds of stuff there's there's about 100 bills so that would be 100 to ten thousand dollars so we actually found ten thousand dollars in fake money it's pretty. It's a pretty cruel joke, actually. I mean, nobody would leave ten thousand dollars for real. I wouldn't think, but this is crazy, and we found it in the barbecue pit. So it turns out the money was fake. Johnny says that someone could have been making a deal and trying to scam someone. I mean, it is plausible. I know you can buy fake money, but I really don't want to believe that these two really lovely people faked this. Let me know in the comments. Do you believe they actually found this money? Or is it all a hoax? As usual, let me know your thoughts. To watch Johnny and Tanya on their YouTube channel, The Curio Show, I'll link it below. Don't make a sound. By demand, we're back with Yazko and Chris on the popular YouTube channel, Yazko. Now, a lot of you guys out there seem to really like this guy. So, here he is with his partner Chris. Now, I've chosen this video on purpose because recently they've been making a lot of videos in the Pokemon Forest, so I've chosen an older video from a different location, which technically is still a forest. But what happens in this video puts the pair in a lot of trouble. Their intent was, of course, dangerous, and what they got was just that. Straight from the jump, Yaz hears noises, and little do they know they are not alone. Suddenly, police sirens are heard very close. Watch. I figured out why. Okay. Yeah. Um. Cool. <laughs> Alright, you ready? Yeah, let's go. Yeah. Alright guys, uh, we found this little entry point and we're taking this in there. Eventually, we gotta like break off to the left a bit, but we're gonna ride this out until then. Um, there's still ice on the floor, so we're being very, very careful that we don't slip and shit. Exciting. Here's the Bro, thing it's though. like it never snowed in here. I know. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah. Bro, that's a tent. Or a parachute. Oh, no. oh, shit. Um, what do you think that is? Bro, I have no clue. Look at this thing right here. Is that a makeshift tent? Makeshift? Could be. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Bro, there's tent poles in the ground. There's what in the ground? There's literally tent poles in the ground. Just, oh. 
Bro, is that is that Thanos' glove? Thanos? Turn your glove away. Turn your glove away. It's like a little gold. Oh, okay. It's pretty just awful. Okay. I like the little jewels. That's pretty cool. Snap your fingers. See what happens. I farted. Didn't speak. <laughs> Come on, bro. Book two. Bro, are these like Thanos statues? I'm so confused. Did they make action figures out of them? Like Thanos Jesus, Thanos Monk, <laughs> <laughs> Thanos oh, no. Priest, Thanos Doctor. This one has a staff. You're a wizard, Harry. It's kind of cool. Like a bottle. Shh. Police siren. Every time. Every time. Every time. There's a SpongeBob lunch bill. Oh, there's, there's something in there. No. no? I'm sick. I wish I had that when I was a kid. Suddenly, you can hear branches snapping and breaking over the sirens, which means there's someone hiding from the police. And our boys are right in the way. Watch. This is coming towards us. Started coming towards us. He's coming towards us? He's getting how, louder. How do we explain this? Oh, uh, officer. Uh, I found baby Jesus and he's cold. <laughs> That's like I, right here. It's fun. not far. Why is it sound like that? Chris, put the eyes. Come on. Bro, like, are they Now, if Yaz and Chris are found in the area by the police, even though they're innocent, they'll still spend the next few hours in the cell until the police do their investigations. Take it from someone who knows the law. So, they better get the hell out of there. Listen as either the police or someone else literally walks right by the guys. But they manage to keep their cool in the dark. And then Yaz accidentally makes a loud noise and their cover is blown. Keep the, keep the lights off, keep the lights off. Just for a second. Okay, maybe we should go underneath the tent again. Just like, for a little Tucker, bit. I'm not careful, yeah, there's a light down there, you see that? I don't know if I can turn on the camera. There's a light down there. Look, 
Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh Chris! 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 Come on! I can't see! Come on! Be careful, it's ice! Dude, they're coming! Go! Be careful, bro! Turn around or some shit. Do we legit just ran? Oh, I don't know if I can do this, bro. I feel like I'm gonna pass out. Where's your inhaler, Chris? I left it in my truck. It's not here. To watch the very scary video and more, head over to his YouTube channel, Yazco. The link is below. If you've made it this far, then I salute you. You're a true fan of horror. Before we get to the next clip, if you're a fan of ghosts, demons and poltergeists, true crime, animal attacks and random nautica, serial killers, psychopaths and dark mysteries, then Project Dark Knight Horror is the channel for you. I upload weekly and as the channel grows, so will the content. I recently turned on my membership button, which you will see situated right next to the subscribe button. If you push that join button and follow the prompts, you'll be able to pay a small fee and for that, you get some really nice perks. The details are all below. I don't want to take up much of your precious time. But can I just say this? It's really hard work running a channel and making content that I can be proud of. And half of it ends up in the bin. But if you do join the membership, I want you to know that that little extra bit of help will go a long way towards keeping the lights on at Project Dark Knight Horror. So I'm really happy to say that I have my first member. So, a really massive thank you to Carol Crane, who has become a Dark Knight, and now has a shiny gold random nautica symbol next to her name in the comments. Every month you'll receive an extra badge, and you'll get shoutouts, and from the next video you'll get early releases and sneak peeks. Thank you my friends for listening. I know I can sometimes go on a bit, but it's because I really do care. You've been watching Project Dark Knight Horror, and I am the Dark Knight. Signing off. Peace. Player one, danger. This is Omar Menz from the YouTube channel, Lomar Menz. Now, if you haven't heard of this Omar, he's a self-confessed paranormal addict and an urban explorer. On his YouTube channel, he makes videos exploring abandoned buildings, ghost hunting, and for the past year, random nautica. Tonight, as usual, He's out with his loyal girlfriend and partner, Chels, and they head off into the night with their first intent, which was picked by a viewer, which was deranged. For our next intent here, we're going to put two together. Uh, we have one here from Brentney saying purgatory. Out of this one, which one should we use? There's dark web, strange, randonautica, Omar, Chelsea, deranged, wicked, demented, Devil, sketchy, almond, supernatural, or cult? Kind of like deranged. Deranged? Yeah. Yeah, that's different. That's like. Yeah. Like, who says deranged? I don't even think anyone, like, physically uses that in a sentence, you know? The building looks abandoned, but what Omar and Charles are going to find out very shortly is the building is not as empty as they think and it's used for some kind of ritual. I don't know. It doesn't look like it, it's a house. Oh, babe, babe, look, 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 look. What? Doors open. Both of them. I don't have a good feeling about this. It's just sketchy because we're literally in the middle of nowhere. Anybody out here? Hello? 
know. Anybody in there? Whoa. Oh, look. It's only two little rooms. Oh, what? This is all it is. Yeah, I don't know. Wait, wait, where does this go? Main building. Did you hear that? Is that outside? I swear, it sounds like a door opening. You can look at It looked like there was a second building here, though. Like the squeak of it. Yeah. I'm sure your camera caught that too, because it was like decently loud. But it wasn't in here, it was outside of this building. Yeah, yeah, it definitely wasn't in here. Yeah, we're we're right on the pin. The pin's actually telling us to go to the forest. But I mean we can check that. I don't know. I mean in our experiences, whatever random nautica is leading you to or leading people to, it could be either on the pit exactly or in the vicinity of the pit. Kind of like, I almost feel like somebody's around us, but uh, hold on a second, hold on a second. They came from outside. I think so. Could be an animal. Hello? I don't know, babe. Like that sounded like like somebody on leaves. Yeah. You know? Oh. Oh. Like that was the door. Like that was the door. What was that? That, that? that was the door. Oh, I think someone's here. Okay, we should get out of this building in case we come close this door. No one's trapped in here. Yeah, this one's wide open. That one wasn't open before. It's that one that was open. Yeah, I know. It's wide open now. Right over here. Over. Do you hear talking? There's actually another building right near where they are and it's a lot bigger. So the pair decide to head there next. Okay, what the hell? Let's not walk through there, that's sketchy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I think someone's walking over there. I just heard someone on the other side of the building. We do. I don't know. Whatever you do though, just stay behind me, okay? Really close. All the time that they're in this location, they keep hearing chatter and footsteps. If ever in doubt, always listen to your instinct. It's there to protect you.
What the guys find in this location is deranged, which is exactly what their intent was. Watch. Did you hear that again? I swear I'm hearing talking. It sounds like two minutes. What the hell was this place though? Anybody here? Yeah, I'm getting sketched out. So, neither of us know what this place was, and both of us heard legitimate people in the forest. So I'm kind of like lost for words right now. Some sort of electrical building, from what I'm seeing. Anything? No. I just heard walking. Hello? This is really weird energy to it. Tell me about it, babe. I wonder if this place is haunted. Can you knock on the door or something? Knock on the wall? There it is again. Back. Like I feel like there's always someone coming behind me. Whoa! Why are you tripping out like that for? Holy <laughs> hell, man! I'm already on edge. <laughs> oh my god, you like twitched out. I thought you were like possessed or something. Gonna come and kill me. Oh my god! Look at all of this. Whoa! Babe, 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 babe. What the fuck is that? Is that? Oh my god, is that Whoa! What the animal. f is that? Yo, but that's like freaking like animal liver or something. That looks like intestines. Oh my god, why is it just here? Like Ugh. Yo. That smells so bad. Oh. You gotta get like fresh air, man. What is that sh doing here? <laughs> oh my god, that smells rotten. As the pair hide and try and stay quiet in the dark, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, someone or something runs full speed at them. Watch. Hey, we're not alone. I don't think we're alone. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's someone walking. Hey, shut your light off. Someone's here. Shut it off. Come on, sir. 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 Come on, sir.